Hello, so today I thought I would show the basic steps to getting a book published on Amazon. Um, so that's how I publish my books. Amazon is a self-publisher, so you can pretty much put any book on there yourself, but you do all the work. You don't have to pay anything, but you just order, you just pay for the books that you order, and you can order as many books off there as you want. They just print them when you order them, and other people can order them off Amazon as well. So if you want to get your books edited, you need to do that first before you put them on Amazon. And I use um, a Christian editor in the state called Affordable Christian Editing. They've been really good. So yeah, I'll show you how you publish on Amazon. Because I found that I'm not the only one who is interested in writing books or writing books. I, since I've started publishing books, I met a lot, a lot of other people who are interested in publishing books as well. So that's why I'm making this video to, and I hope it's helpful to somebody else. So one of the first things you need to do is download Kindle Create and that is a program that you upload your book onto and you get it all how you want it and then from then, from there you upload it to Amazon. So if you just upload your book straight to Amazon, it, the formatting looks all weird but if you do it through this, then it looks good. So you click on that. <clears throat> um, now, if you visit the home page... It is this one here, so you download for PC for on your computer. So that takes a little bit of time just to download it and then you follow the procedure for installing it. And um, when that's all done, I'll have a little K like this on your screen. So when it's all installed, this is what it looks like when you click on it. So these are like my books I've already worked on, but if you want to create a new one, you create new and then you upload your manuscript I think it just goes when you click on that oh yeah and then you choose a file sometimes I've had well not me but other people have had problems that their file wouldn't upload but if you make sure your files is in documents it seems to work when you upload it through documents so once you have your book uploaded on there, you get to format it how you want. So like over here are all my different devotionals and then you have the front matters. You can do whatever pages you want, like a title, a copyright, dedication, all of those things. And then down the bottom, is it? You can do back matter as well, so like books in this author, books by the author, about the author, anything like that you want. Um, and you can format it how you want, so like, uh, well there's, you can have a different theme, so like different types of writing. So you get to do all that on here. And then you can format it on here as well. So like on here you can do all like the um, indents and the drop caps and quotes and all things like that. And when it's all done, uh, then you generate it. And it will like download it. So then you click on save and then that downloaded one is what you upload to Amazon and then it will look good. And then this is the site you go to to publish, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. You need to make an account there. My computer is slow. <coughs> so you have to make an account. And um, yeah, so sign in on that. And I think once you've done all that, then you get onto like a bookshelf. So this is where my books are kept. So if I want to make a new one, then I click on create. But first, I think when you sign in, you have to fill out all your details. So like you have to set up 
you know like your bank details and you've got to fill out all these forms which are a bit of a nuisance but like your tax details and all of that I can't show that since I've already done all that but that's a little bit of a hassle but once it's done it's done and you don't have to do it again then you can create your book so then you click on create then you have a couple of forms that you need to go through so you, oh, you can choose paperback hardcover Kindle so let's say I do paperback and you can do Kindle afterwards so then you go through the language the book title you type in what you want author uh, description um, copyright keywords um, so you fill all that in and then you save and continue which I can't you have to do that before you get to the next one so this is the next page the paperback content I'm just using one of my own books that I'm working on at the moment so here you can get a free ISBN and then you choose what type of paper you choose what size you want you can choose all different sizes um, and then you can choose whether you want it glossy or matte then you upload your manuscript here and then you create a cover here to preview it and that shows you what it's going to look like so you can check it all out on there first once you've done that you save and continue and then you go through the pricing because that's the last page and then you, once you've done the pricing then you um, submit it and then Amazon checks it over and lets you know if it's approved or not so I'll show you a little bit how you design the cover. This is, I designed the cover on Amazon. You probably could do it different ways, but um, yeah. So if you want a photo on the front, you can get one off your computer. Right now I'm just fiddling around just to show you how you do it. So I'll see what photo I can come up with. So I just found a photo on either Pixabay or Pixels. You can get free photos on there and you're allowed to use them for books, which is quite handy. Um, so these are all the different designs. So like if you had a photo, this is what it would look like, either a whole big photo. I often use this style, or there's also these ones. But each one of these has about, I don't know, five different ways as well. So usually I would go with this one. It's usually the one that works best for me. And then it still has all these different layouts as well. And then you can choose, like you can click on each of these and, um, you know, like change the writing, change the color. You can change the colors like the red and the pink or the pink and the black. So here you can change all of those or you can pick one of their color schemes or you can just make your own. Um, so then on the back, do the writing and all that. And then you can preview it. Yep. And these little arrows show if you need to change something. So sometimes the photos are too small or so sometimes you need to fix things up. But anyway, that's just basically how you um, make a... Uh, cover and one thing I found very frustrating the first cover I made is that there in the words there would be like big gaps in between the words but I learned that if you click on oh, what am I doing like if you click at the end of the sentence and then press enter that evens out the word so you kind of need to do that for at the end of each sentence or the end of each line and it makes them all even out so they're not big gaps in between the words so that's one problem you can have once you're done, you preview it and then you save it and then it will be saved on the site. So those are the basics on how to publish a book on Amazon. Um, obviously I can't co cover everything and there are little problems that come up sometimes that you just have to work through. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask.